what we preach since day one to just go out every night compete play together and unselfish and but like we have the right staff here um, to preach the same thing we have some vets who've been in the league for a minute uh, we have some young guys who even had a year or two years under their belt so um, just stand with each other and just uh, preaching the same thing have the same mindset so have the best have the been helping you personally have they been helping you personally uh, get adjusted to the NBA? Um, definitely. Um, I think day one, I think we lost like our first two games. Um, obviously, nobody likes losing, so um, me, I was a little down, but they told me you have to turn the page quick, turn the page, and I think we got our first win against Brooklyn. So um, they just been preaching me the same thing, having ties, um, veteran, point guard, um, go against in practice, help me out through the games. Um, Tell me to just keep my pace, control the game, and just go out there and just have fun. How much confidence does this give your team beating? Except it's not just beating them, but beating them. Um, it gave us a lot of confidence, actually. Um, we actually had them down at home, uh, double digits, but um, lost the lead late. And I think they won on the offensive rebound, and we wasn't able to get a shot at the end. So I'm mean, just learning, just going out, playing hard, um, sticking with the plan. We got up. Um, we lost a couple leads this year, being up double digits, just learning from it, and we were able to keep the lead tonight. What do you feel like you guys did better to secure the lead? Um, just being smart. Um, normally, we just try to get stops, get out and run. Um, they made some shots, went on the run of their own, but we know we have to, uh, late in the game, have to get stops. It's a great team we played against. Had to be smart on the offensive end. Um, and we was just giving up good shots for great shots. You obviously have a high aspirations coming into the league, but when you see the fan vote, uh, you're on the All-Star ballot, and you see the fan vote for you, what's your reaction? How do you react to that? Man, speechless, honestly. Um, I didn't see it until my family sent it to me and was like, that I was number 10 or something like that. I mean, I'm a rookie. So, uh, not most rookies have that. So, um, I mean, I'm blessed. Um, thankful for everybody who's voted for me in my corner right now. Um, I think after that, I post a tweet at the group. I, mean, I love you. So it's another chance to just say I love everybody who's rooting for me right now. You guys that from other teams that, that are in your ear after the game, they, you know, giving you advice. Who are the guys that have really said stuff to you that have stuck with you as you been going through this rookie season? I Man, I had a couple guys uh, before the. I even played my game. Um, you're saying that they was in my corner. I need anything. Um, um, everybody, mostly the top players in the league, um, you're saying that they in my corner. If I need anything, ask. Um, I mean, it wasn't many questions that I asked them because I, I feel like I have teammates here right now. So um, I just been asking the guys in our locker room. Um, after the game, some of the guys just tell me to just stay humble, just keep going. Um, and that I'm a good player. So I'm um, just hearing that from those guys. I'm pretty sure y'all see the videos after the game with the pitchers. So I mean, it's special coming from those guys who are big time players in this league. So Rick Doc spoke about your pace and how you know and how well you play. He also spoke barely, you know, kind of fluently about your play. What does it mean when other coaches from opposing teams, you know, can speak about you and your pace and, and what you play? You know, kind of coming in, you know, as you said, you are a rookie. Thoughts on that? Um, Big time, especially from Doc, one of the uh, greatest coaches to ever coach the game. Um, I just try to go out there and just be me, honestly. Um, just stay with what I do, just continue to be Ja. Um, like I said, just try to control the pace, never get rushed or anything. And I'm a very unselfish guy, so um, I'm just really looking for my teammates. Um, I'm not worried about whoever on the, who guarding me on the ball. I'm looking at the help side and just taking what the defense give me. And, um, it's making me look good. So. <laughs> with, the, with, the rookie class, with the rookie class, so much of the hype was about Zion. You kind of took that over now. I mean, win, winning rookie of the year, is that important to you? Um, it's not my focus right now at all, honestly. Um, I'm not worried about the hype. I don't pay too much attention to it. Um, I mean, I feel like every rookie goal is to come in and just make an impact, try to win rookie of the year. Um, so I can say it's a goal, but I'm not focused on it at all. I just stay on my feet around. Hey, Joe, can you talk about your, your contribution to making this team a family, this close-knit camaraderie that you guys are building here? Um, that's the number one thing for me. I'm a family guy. I brought my family to Memphis uh, with me um, just to stay around. And um, the guys tell you we joke and laugh all the time when we're off the court sometimes, um, even go out sometimes uh, to dinner and just try to build that relationship. I feel like if you have that tight bond with your teammates, 
Um, it makes you better on the floor with your chemistry, knowing exactly where this guy want to be, where he want to shoot the ball. So. So I need uh, two more. You build on a win like this. How do you build on a win like this? Uh, just keep going. Um, we got to turn the page quick. Four minutes. We got um, a game tomorrow. Yeah, so um, just taking the good from this game, some of the bad, learn from it, take it to the next game, and just try to continue to be Memphis. Do, what words Last do you one. live by? Seven. What's your philosophy? What do you live by? What's your inspiration? What makes you a great player that you are? Um, man, I just stay humble. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody knows my story right now, how I got to this point. Um, I'm humble, grateful for it. Um, got a daughter I wake up to almost every morning, even on the way trips. I'm on the phone with her. I imagine you're, you're, I go hard. Everybody. your team hasn't had many games like this, I'm guessing. What was it like to see you come together? Uh, we had a lot of games like this. We just gave up the lead. Um, so, I mean, we know we can do it. It's just holding the lead and being smart at the end of the game. Okay.